first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number five on the topic probability we are going to learn one of the very most important concept that is concept based on color balls so if you are preparing for any competitive exam not only for the bank exam if you are preparing for placement training or cat exams gate exams any government competitive exams you can see minimum of one mark in the topic probability that too in the concept called color balls and in most of the bank exams you can able to see for five marks so it is one of the very most important concept and before solving the question in this topic always remember that you need to know three things one is what is the formula called probability so probability is equal to sum of observation divided by possibility and the second is wherever you find a word and a and d then you need to multiply it and wherever you find a word or o r you need to add it so these are the three things are most important before solving every probability question and another important thing is in lesson number five what we are going to see one bag listen carefully lesson number five is based on the concept called one bag and two different color balls in lesson number six that is next lesson we are going to solve the question similarly one bag but three different color balls got it in this lesson two different color balls in the next lesson two plus that is more than two color balls so most important while solving a question just see what is the difference between lesson number five and lesson number six so while solving you can see a small difference right so which is most important only if you know the difference you can able to solve some of the toughest questions uh, in this lesson we are going to solve five to six different questions that is based on one bag and two different color balls question number one a bag contains six red balls and four yellow balls listen carefully so first line you can see a bag contains which means one bag contains two different color ball so which is six red and four yellow so a bag contains six red balls and four yellow balls four balls are picked at random what is the probability that three are red and one is yellow so after reading this question we can say that this is lesson number five why because there is only one bag which contains two different color balls and our target to pick four balls out of these four balls three should be red and which means multiplication one should be yellow right so our target to find what is the probability first of all you know the formula for probability right so probability is equals to sum of observation divided by possibility you should not write this in the exam just to understand this right so sum of observation divided by possibility and sum of observation so according to the question out of these four balls our target to pick three red how many red balls are here six red balls so six c3 listen carefully out of six red balls according to the question our target to pick three red so six c3 and next is and which means multiplication so multiply and one is yellow out of four yellow our target to pick one yellow so four c1 divided by what is called as possibility which means total possibility what is the total number of balls six red and four yellow totally we have 10 balls so 10 c4 so 10 c4 is the total possibility out of this total possibility our target is observation three should be red and one should be yellow got it so probability is equal to sum of observation according to the question we have calculated divided by possibility which means overall possibility so out of 10 balls our target to pick four balls so 10 c4 is the overall possibility and the numerator sum of observation out of four balls three should be red so 6 c3 and which is most important the word and comes which is multiplication and one should be yellow so 4 c1 now we need to cancel and we need to find the value right so 6 c3 can be written as 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 so 4 c1 can be written as 4 and denominator is 10 c4 so 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 divided by 4 so 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. these are the things we have already learned in the basics in the previous video right so now we can cancel this 3 2s are 6 so we can directly cancel this 6 next term 4 2s are 8 again we can cancel this 8 so 1 3s are 3 3 3s are 9 so finally numerator we have 5 into 4 into 4 so this is the numerator so 5 into 4 into 4 divided by look at the denominator 10 into 3 into 7 so 10 into 3 into 
7. So now we can again cancel this on 5 times. 1 5 are 5, 2 5 are 10. Again cancel this on 2 times, 2 2s are 4. So finally we can say that 4 into 2 will be 8 which is numerator, denominator 7 into 3 will be 21. So finally we got an answer as 8 divided by 21 which is answer for question number 1. So easiest topic once you understand the concept you can able to solve all the questions easily. So remember that out of four balls our target to pick three should be uh, red and one should be yellow. So 6C3 that is for red and 4C1 that is for yellow. Only when you add both the balls you will get four balls. So and here which is multiplication. Question number two. A bag contains six red balls and four yellow balls. Three balls are picked at random. What is the probability that one is red? So similarly, a bag contains six red and four yellow. What is our target? Our target to pick three balls. Listen carefully. Our target to pick three balls. Out of these three, one should be red. right? But they are not talking about the remaining two balls. Out of these three, one should be red. So what is the formula for probability? Sum of observation divided by possibility. So let me concentrate on numerator sum of observation. How many red balls should be there? Out of three, one should be red. Here total we have six red balls. So six C1. So according to the question, their target is one should be red. So six C1. So we have taken one red color ball. How many balls are remaining still? Two ball is remaining, right? What is the remaining color? Which is yellow. So out of four yellow, our target to pick two. two. So friends got it. What they are saying? Three balls should be picked. One should be red. So out of these three balls, one is red. Remaining two balls should be the other color, which is yellow color 4C2. And remember that here we have one red color ball. Here we have two yellow color ball. Only if you join one and two, it becomes three. So which means and this ball and this ball becomes three ball so the meaning here is and which means multiplication always remember that you should not add you should multiply it because and which means multiplication or which means addition these are things we have learned in the basics right so finally we have wrote the equation for sum of observation divided by possibility what is the possibility total possibility six red and four yellow which is 10 balls how many balls our target to pick three balls so six that is 10 c3 finally so once you solve this you will get an answer right so 6 c1 which is 6 4 c2 that is 4 into 3 divided by 1 into 2 and 10 c3 can be written as 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 i think we can cancel this 2 and we can cancel two times here so we can cancel 1 3s are 3 3 3s are 9 so 1 2s are 2 4 2s are 8 so finally numerator we have 6 into 2 into 3 and the denominator we have 10 into 3 into 4 so we can cancel 3 and 3 again i think we can cancel 1 2s are 2 2 2s are 4 we can cancel 2 that is 3 times that is 3 by 10 so finally we got an answer for question number 2 which is 3 by 10 so the concept is most important right if you practice more number of questions you will get an idea how to solve this in a short time but only thing is you should know how to write this equation correctly which is most important right <coughs> So our target to pick three balls out of these three according to the question one should be red. So first of all we have picked one red out of six six C1 remaining two ball is remaining out of the remaining four yellow our target to pick the remaining two yellow. So four C2 only if you join this one red and two yellow it becomes three. So one red and two yellow the meaning of and which means multiplication. So six C1 four C2 divided by total possible that is 10 C3. So finally we got an answer as three by 10. Question number three. A bag contains six red balls and four yellow balls. So two balls are picked at random. What is the probability that either two are red or two are yellow? So listen here. Similarly, a bag contains six red and four yellow balls. Our target to pick two balls and out of these two balls, we have found one of the most important word there. OR. If you find the word OR, that is OR, which is addition. If you find a word AND, it is multiplication, right? In the previous two questions, we have found the word AND, but in this question, we have found the word OR. So let me do one thing, our target to find what is the probability, which means sum of observation divided by possibility. And what they are saying is, either 2 or red, right? Or otherwise 2 or yellow, right? This is the question they have asked. So numerator, sum of observation. Listen carefully. 2 should be red. How many red balls are here? 6C2. 
and most important thing we have found the word r which means plus so plus 2 or yellow how many yellow balls are here so 4 c2 divided by total possibility totally we have 10 and the total possibility will be 10 c2 and remember that our target to pick two balls and you should not say two to four balls we have picked that is not the correct answer right we have picked only two balls because either or either either it can be two red or otherwise it can be two yellow so we have picked only two balls right so either two red or two yellow divided by total possibility so 6 c2 can be written as 6 into 5 divided by 1 into 2 4 c2 can be written as 4 into 3 divided by 1 into 2 so denominator is 10 c2 so 10 into 9 divided by 1 into 2 so we can cancel 2 2 times here again we can cancel 2 3 times here we can cancel 1 2 so 2 5 times here so finally the numerator is 5 into 3 is 15 plus 3 into 2 will be 6 divided by 9 into 5 will be 45 so when you add this this becomes 21 by 45 if you want to cancel this on three table you can cancel it when you cancel this on three table seven threes are 21 so when you cancel this on three table which is 15 so finally we can say that answer for this question number three which is seven divided by 15 so from this question number three you have to learn only one thing is target to pick two balls and here we have found the word or or which means addition in the previous question we have multiplied it but in this question we have added it question number four a bag contains six red balls and four yellow balls three balls are picked at random so what is the probability that none is red so what the question says similarly a bag contains six red balls and four yellow balls our target to pick three balls and out of these three balls none is red which means out of these three there should not be any red balls which means our target to pick the remaining color that is yellow so got it out of these three none should be red that means there should not be any red color balls so what is the remaining color which is yellow so from the yellow our target to pick three balls right so we can say that probability is equal to sum of observation divided by possibility sum of observation none is red which means there should not be any red color ball so what is the remaining color yellow color so out of these four yellow our target to pick three yellow because three balls to be picked so 4c3 divided by total possible total possible always 10c3 remember that they are saying none is red so in the total possibility you should not remove this red color balls right so meaning is total possibility that is 10c3 so the numerator is called a sum of observation so based on the question our target to find the numerator but the denominator is same for all the question 10 is the total number of balls three balls picked so 10c3 if it is four balls picked 10c4 so the denominator is always same but the numerator will be different based on the questions right so 4 c3 divided by 10 c3 which can be written as 4 into 3 into 2 divided by 3 that is 1 into 2 into 3 divided by 10 c3 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 3 1 into 2 into 3 so we can cancel 1 2 3 here 1 2 3 here so the numerator value that we have is 4 into 3 into 2 divided by denominator 10 into 9 into 8. So 4 2s are 8, we can cancel 8 here. So 1 3s are 3, 3 3s are 9. So numerator we got 1, denominator we got 30. So finally we can say that answer for question number 4 is 1 by 30. So remember that if the concept that is based on none is red that means you should not pick any red color ball. If it is none is yellow then you should not pick yellow color ball. You should take ball from the red colors. Question number 5. A bag contains 6 red balls and 4 yellow balls. 4 balls are picked at random. What is the probability at least one is red? Listen the word carefully at least one is red so only if you know what is the meaning of the word at least you can solve this question and listen here uh, this question can be solved by using a various shortcuts but if you are a beginner shortcut is not needed first of all learn the normal traditional method right after understanding the concept and every question you can then learn the shortcuts but beginners kindly don't learn the shortcut understand the normal method so our target to find at least one is red listen here the meaning of at least is minimum to maximum so got it the meaning of at least is minimum to maximum so what is our target at least one to be red which means minimum one is red or otherwise or listen carefully the word or which means addition minimum one can be red or two can be red 
or otherwise three can be red or maximum four can be red why we are saying four as maximum because our target to pick four balls so minimum to maximum listen carefully the word at least meaning as minimum to maximum our target to pick at least one is red minimum one red or that is plus two can be red or it can be three red or maximum four can be red so we need to write the condition for every terms right so first is minimum one red which means one should be red six c one and how many balls remaining three balls remaining and out of this four yellow our target to pick three yellow so got it friends so minimum one is red so out of four balls minimum one is red which means six c one how many balls remaining three balls remaining so from this four yellow we have picked three yellow so here plus next condition two can be red so six c two remaining that is four c two got it so out of four balls our target to pick two red according to the condition two to be red what is the remaining balls two balls so two from the yellow so third condition three to be red so six c three and the remaining one ball that is four yellow and four to be red so six c four so divided by the total possibility how many balls six plus four will be ten so out of these ten balls our target to pick four balls so finally we have written sum of observation divided by possibility so remember that everyone knows how to write the possibility but sum of observation is most important for the term at least so at least meaning is minimum to maximum they are saying that at least one is red which means minimum one is red or two can be red or three can be red or maximum four can be red so you need to take this condition number one minimum one red which means one to be red so six c one remaining three balls that is from four and low next condition is two red so six c two four c two next condition is three red six c three four c one and the last maximum condition is four to be red so six c four right our target to pick four balls so the denominator possible is six c four so finally we need to solve this so six c one into four c one can be written as six into four because we, we already know that four c three can be written as four c one now we can say that six into four next term so i can calculate the values in mind itself right you can if you want you can solve it so 6 c2 6 c2 can be written as 6 into 5 divided by 1 into 2 so we can cancel 2 and 6 3 times so 5 into 3 will be 15 next is 4 c2 so 4 c2 can be written as 4 into 3 by 1 into 2 2 and 4 cancel 2 times 3 into 2 will be 6 next is 6 c3 so 6 c3 you can calculate like this 6 into 5 into 4 if you are a beginner you can do like this 1 into 2 into 3 so into 4 c1 can be written as 4 next is 6 c4 6 c4 can be written as 6 c2 so 6 into 5 divided by 1 into 2 these are the things we have already learned in the basic right 6 c2 can be written as 6 c4 can be written as 6 c2 both are same so divided by 10 c4 which is 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so now we can cancel it and we can find the answer so i think 6 into 4 will be 24 plus next term this will be 90 so plus i think we can cancel 3 2s are 6 we can cancel the 6 5 4s are 20 so 20 into 4 will be 80 okay so next term so we can cancel 3 times so 5 into 3 will be 15 so 24 90 plus 15 divided by and we look at the denominators so denominator i think we can cancel this right so four twos are eight we can directly cancel this eight similarly one threes are three three threes are nine so we got seven into three which is 21 21 into 10 will be 210 so the denominator becomes 210 so finally let me add all the values 90 plus 80 will be 170 next is 24 will be 39 so this becomes 39 when you add all this this is 209 so finally we can say that numerator is 209 denominator is 210 so finally we got an answer for question number 5 that is 209 divided by 210 easiest question and practice more and more number of question that is based on at least in uh, lesson number 8 or lesson number 9 we can learn the shortcut for the same question there is a shortcut 
so once you understand the traditional method shortcut becomes so simple right so what we actually did minimum should be one which is at least one is right so minimum one or otherwise it can be two or otherwise it can be three or otherwise maximum it can be four why we stopped at maximum four because our target to pick only four balls so after writing this we have taken this as condition number one one to be read 6c1 remaining will be 4c3 second condition 2 to be read 6c2 4c2 the last the third will be 3 should be read 6c3 plus 4c1 maximum 4 right, right? so finally we got an answer as 209 divided by 210 question number 6 a bag contains 6 red balls and 4 yellow balls 3 balls are picked at random what is the probability at most two are red which is most important in the previous question that is question number five we have solved at least concept but in this question number six we are going to solve at most concept what is the meaning of at least just now i have told you the meaning of at least is minimum to maximum the meaning of at most is maximum to minimum plus none see the difference right at least is minimum to maximum at most is maximum to minimum plus none listen carefully at most which means maximum to minimum plus none don't forget this none this is also important right so what they are saying is at most two is red which means maximum two can be red a maximum two should be red listen here maximum two red because our target to find at most two red so maximum two can be red or otherwise one can be red or otherwise so maximum two minimum one red and the last is none which means there should not be any red color ball we need to pick from yellow color ball so friends most important in the previous question at least which means minimum to maximum in this question we are going to solve at most maximum to minimum one and also none where none determines there should not be any red color balls because they are talking about at most two are red so the last our target to pick three balls that is from yellow so denominator will be the total possible right so let me take this as condition number one maximum two to be red so 6c2 maximum two is red our target to pick three balls so we have picked two color that is red color balls one is remaining that should be yellow 4c1 so plus second condition one to be red 6c1 so out of three balls we have picked one red so two balls is remaining so two yellow that is 4c2 and the last condition there should not be any red color ball only yellow color ball should be there so how many yellow color balls is four yellow color so 4c3 divided by the total possibility is 10c3 friends got it very most important concept all you try to solve more number of questions by referring some books right, which is important so 6c2 for the maximum 2 and minimum 1 red and without red now we need to solve this 6c2 can be written as 6 into 5 divided by 1 into 2 we can 2 and 6 can be cancelled which becomes 3 times so 5 into 3 will be 15 and 4 in 4c1 will be 4 next term is 6c1 will be 6 4c2 4c2 can be written as 4 into 3 by 1 into 2 2 and 4 will be 2 times 3 into 2 will be 6 next 4c3 4c3 can be done as 4c1 which is 4 divided by 10c3 so 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 i think uh, 15 into 4 will be 60 so plus 6 into 6 will be 36 plus 4 divided by so we can cancel this uh, 1 3s are 3 3 3s are 9 1 2s are 2 4 2s are 8 so 4 into 3 will be 12 12 into 10 will be 120 so denominator is 120 and look at the numerator 36 plus 4 will be 40 40 plus 60 will be 100 so 100 divided by 120 we can cancel 0 0 again we can cancel this on two table that is 5 by 6 so finally we got an answer for question number six is five by six so friends it's a little bit tricky right if you are a beginner you will feel a little bit difficult to solve this question and also understanding this concept is very difficult for the beginners so practice more number of questions and it will be easy but understand the concept at least minimum to maximum at most maximum to minimum plus none where none represents there should not be any red color balls why we are concentrating red color here because they are talking about at most two or red which means maximum two or minimum one or otherwise it can be without red color balls last seventh question a bag contains six red balls and four yellow balls 
four balls are picked at random what is the probability that three are red and one is yellow or two are red or two is yellow listen here our target to pick four balls out of these four balls they have given two conditions first condition is three are red and one is yellow if you are a beginner you can write like this right i'm talking about only for the beginners right if you are an expert you can directly solve this question without writing this so beginners three are red and one is yellow so three to be red and which means multiplication and one to be yellow or or which means addition right so or two are red that is two to be red and which is multiplication two to be yellow so this is called a sum of observation got it so wherever we find the word and sorry wherever we find the word and we have used multiplication and wherever we find the word or we have used addition so three to be red six c3 and one to be yellow that is four c1 this is condition number one plus second condition two to be red that is six c2 and two to be yellow that is four c2 so divided by the total possible is 10 and four balls to be picked 10 c4 so friends listen the concept carefully what they are saying is they have given two condition one is three red and one yellow one condition or otherwise two red and two yellow another condition so in this condition we have picked four balls similarly in another condition we have picked four balls because our target to pick four balls next the denominator is 10 c4 which is overall possibility so now let me cancel and we can find the answer 6 c3 can be written as 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 so into 4 c1 can be written as 4 so plus 6 c2 so 6 into 5 divided by 1 into 2 4 c2 can be written as 4 into 3 divided by 1 into 2 so overall denominator is 10 c4 10 9 8 and 7 divided by 1 2 3 and 4 now we can cancel this 3 2 we can directly cancel the 6 5 4s are 20 20 into 4 will be 80 the first term is 80 and the second term so we can cancel 1 2s are 2 3 2s are 6 similarly we can cancel 1 2s are 2 2 2s are 4 so 5 into 2 will be 10 3 into 3 will be 9 10 into 9 will be 90 so 90 here divided by next i think we can cancel 4 2s are 8 we can cancel this 8 1 3s are 3 3 3s are 9 7 3s are 21 21 into 10 will be 210 so this can be done as 90 and 80 will be 170 divided by 210 we can cancel 0 0 which becomes 17 divided by 21 so finally we got an answer for the last question that is 17 divided by 21 finally in this video we have solved seven different question and the first two question we have solved is the basics third question is based on the concept called either or and the fourth question we have solved on the concept called none and the fifth question is at least which means minimum to maximum sixth question we have solved at most that is maximum to minimum plus none and also the last seventh question we have solved on the concept called two conditions is given that is one condition is three red one yellow or another condition we have solved this so finally we have solved seven different question and practice more and more number of question that is based on the concept called at least and at most and either or so thank you so much for watching this video and in the next lesson that is lesson number six we are going to solve on the concept called one back three different color ball that is also most important so thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this bye